Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another episode of Rocoblog. Today we will extend the functionality of our ticketing system by adding two more functions. The first one is to edit the feedback. If you made a mistake, you can edit. Now it will help you to know how you can edit or modify CCT from front end, which mostly the user are asking in community forum. And the second functionality is to assign the ticket to your team members. So let's start. All right, so I'm already logged in. I will go to dashboard. I can see that some of you are already registered in this system. Uh, so I have real user data, which we can test. The first thing we need to do is to edit CCT or in other word replies. So I will open this ticket. I have these two replies. These are CCT. I want to edit them from front end. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to go to listings and click on single feedback here we need to add dynamic link dynamic link and we will give it a label of edit and the icon of edit let's move it to the right side okay now before proceeding we need to create our form we can use jet form builder as well as jet form also i will use jet form builders create a new form edit feedback here we need to keep the post id which will be transferred to this form with the help of query variable and it is underscore feedback underscore id and i will remove this text box and in our cct we only have the reply so we want to edit the reply i will add another visual editor field And name it feedback details. All right, and let's make it update. Now, if you go to Jet Form, here we have something called preset setting. Preset setting means fill the information of this form from the database. So we will enable it. Source will be custom content type and get ID from query variable. And query variable we have underscore feedback underscore id this feedback id we will provide from here so post id is item id which will be updated and feedback detail is reply detail okay so we got these two field now in post submit action we need to choose insert update custom content type type is feedback item status is publish post id is item id which will be updated if you miss it here it will always create new cct for you and reply detail update okay and i will add a new action to refresh the same page redirect to page current page and let's update it okay so i will publish the form okay the form is published now the next step is to create a template for the form to be displayed we will create a hidden page here in the profile builder so let's go to template save templates i will add a new page and we call it edit feedback i will import the base template remember whenever you are working in profile builder make sure to create your base template for one page and then import in all pages so it will be uniform now if you want to make it more uniform and unique try to use global uh, widgets so if you make some changes in this menu it will be applied everywhere base template insert
here I will call the form form name is edit feedback I'll make it HX so I have feedback details and update I will publish it let's go back to profile builder and here I will create a new page called modify feedback and template the one we made right now edit feedback I think okay and here you need to choose the option hide from menu so it is not accessible directly because edit feedback requires an ID and we will make it available for administrator or subscriber let's save it okay once done I will refresh this page this is single CCT layout this one we need to add our edit icon here let's refresh it I will click on edit here you need to choose profile page and modify feedback okay so whoever click here they will go to uh, modify page but what they will take we need ID also so you need to enable here query variable query argument okay so it takes the current ID of the CCT here the variable is underscore post underscore ID but in our case it's underscore feedback underscore ID you can name it anything underscore feedback underscore id and i will click on update let's try it i will refresh it and we go to edit button okay so if i mouse over here the id is six and here it's five i want to edit this one this is second reply click on edit we are here in edit feedback this is additional text and let's update it okay this is additional text it's updated I will go back to open tickets and I will open ticket 75 and the reply has been added okay now this is how you edit CCT from front end using forms okay you just push the ID from here this is same as we are doing in CPT. In CPT, you also need to push the ID and then catch the ID in the form and apply the update action. So first part is covered. Now the second part, it's a bit technical, is to assign ticket to your team members. Now, if I go back to users, I can see some of you watching the tutorial and they have subscribed and they are checking the system. So what I will do, in order to create your team we need role we have subscriber but we need additional role subscriber can be anyone so let's install a plugin for example members I think it's called member there are a lot of plugin for roles but I will use member it's very simple I hope in future croco block they add something in jet engine profile builder to just create the roles only activate and let's create a role I will just clone subscriber and we'll call it assign team. okay add role I will go to users and I will push some users to this group so this one is assign team let's take this one as assign team and let's add this one as assign let me check the notes I have some notes also okay now the next step is to create a query and query builder which will fetch the users who are assigner okay so 
assign users user query let me see how many users we have so in total we have 17 but here we expect the result of three so here i will choose the role assign team now right now we have three users so let me add the query now the logic is to on a single ticket we need here a drop down of users and once i click on assign it should be assigned to those users now logically there are various way to do it you can change the author but it's not possible what if in future this person who is the author who want to change something in the ticket the second person who is a signer he can also edit the ticket so we don't want two authors or multiple authors what we will do alternatively we will add a meta field in this ticketing system as a sign and we will store the id of the users okay so first thing is done let's create a form with jet form builder add new assigned form we need to keep the post id its current post id and here we need a drop down And from manual input here we need to choose generate dynamically. I already discussed this function in messages video. Uh, so we need to get the list of users from Jet Engine query. So what is the query ID? Let me quickly check the query ID. Eleven. So first argument is query ID 11, then we have ID and we have display name. So it which it will it will fetch all the users from this query and the value should be ID and the label should be display name. Okay. And here we will change it to assign. In jet form we need insert update post action in post type we will choose ticket and post status we will choose publish and post id post id so it will be updated now field name here field name let me quickly change it, the field name to assign to now before mapping it we need this field in our cpt so i will go to post type ticket and here i will add a new field called assigned underscore user to which user this ticket is assigned and let's keep it number because it will store user id and by default let's keep the value to zero which is which means that it is not assigned to anyone all right Let's go back to tickets and I will open a dummy ticket. This one. And we can see that assign user is zero, which means it is not assigned to anyone. Let's go back to our form and jet, click on jet form, insert update post. Our post is ticket, post type publish status post id post id and assign to is post meta and meta name is meta meta key is assign user okay update and let's publish and publish all right now we need to edit the single ticket layout so this one is already done we will close it templates theme builder and single post edit i will not focus much on design right now 
because time by time I'm improving it when I'm offline I'm improving the system I will add here so we drag the jet form and the name of the form is assign form okay and I'll make it Ajax update let's go back refresh and I can see assign three three users because these are the three users we assigned using the roles okay now I want to assign this one okay and I will click on assign it's already assigned we need to refresh or refresh current page action also but let me check this ticket was submitted to open status I will go back to the system ticket open status and I am expecting a number so we have two let's confirm which user has two ID so let's go back to users and if I mouse over here this user ID is two now it's done we have some more stuff to do here today I want to discuss some more functionality also usually in jet engine we have in form we have actions called hook and webhook hook is used to perform certain action within WordPress internally and webhook is used to send data to third-party software such as Zapier or Integromat we want to use hook so it will get the user ID of this uh, ticket and it will send email to the user right now we are fetching it but unfortunately we don't have any query here or maybe I'm missing that could send this ticket information to the user so I would use hook this way it will cover the hook topic also and we will establish the functionality also so each time I click on a user and I click on assign it should send an email to the user let's create a hook and we will name it uh, for example assign okay now here we have some details about the hook okay uh, you can use this action or this filter if you are using action you can get the form vali uh, without validation and if you are using a uh, filter there is ability to validate the form and it will allow to return the error also I will click on update here I need to add another action of refreshing the same page current page now once you call a hook there is a code which you need to add in your theme so I will open my function.php and at the end I need to add the code All right, so we have this function uh, where we will add an action and this is the name of the hook and it gives the data in request okay the data which we are sending from the form I am using our WordPress native function which return a user by ID so the ID is provided from this form here and we can fetch the user details in the function now here the name of our field is assigned to so I will copy and here in request field I need to paste it so it will get the ID in the first case it's two it will search for the user with the two and it will get the user email and I'm using PHP mail function it will send an email with these details to the user okay let's save it and try all right I will refresh this page and I will assign this ticket assign the ticket is assigned and the page is refreshed I am expecting an email here let's refresh I got an email okay from the ticketing system a new ticket has been assigned to you and check the system Every, everything works well all right now I want to log in as this user and see 
those tickets which are assigned to me but before proceeding we need to create a page and we need to show them as a listing okay so i will go back to jet engine query builder add new and i need to make a query for assign tickets it should be post query and we take it from tickets it will show me all tickets now here i need to filter by meta query what is meta query name it's assigned to equal to current user id current user id okay so it will show only those tickets which are assigned to this user add query it's not showing it to me because none of the ticket is assigned to me all done let's go to templates add new and page assign tickets let's call the base theme Here we need to call the listing grid and tickets I think single ticket or something okay ticket listing and I will make it one let's reduce the spacing and in custom query I'll choose assign tickets it's not showing any data because none of the ticket is assigned I will assign a ticket to myself let's open a ticket but before assigning i need to push myself to this user group user role so jet engine sorry users and let's make it assign team also let's refresh I can see my name here assign it is assigned to me now we need to show the page here this page we need to show so we will go to chat engine profile builder account page assigned tickets assign tickets and this role this is available to assign team only okay the benefit of this is the normal user or the subscriber they cannot see this page because it is not associated to them save and let's refresh so I can see assign ticket I will click I am expecting one ticket only there is no data found let's verify what's going on tickets and this ticket is submitted via status and I can see here one okay let's check the query quickly jet engine query builder edit let's preview the data none meta query type equal to numeric everything seems fine let me verify the key we go to jet engine and post type okay it's assigned to assigned user all right update and let's refresh assign tickets so i can see the assigned ticket let me assign another one hello this is testing assigned to me
I can see the tickets okay if I click here I can click on now this resolve case it should work for three roles for administrator for the assigner team and for the user also so they can resolve it here now as a signer i don't need to see this form so this one you can hide with the help of dynamic visibility okay you can click here advance dynamic visibility show if the role is admin the role is administrator okay so if someone is a uh, uh, subscriber or they are a signer team they cannot see the assign button all right so this was an update on the ticketing system we have added two more functionalities and we will add time by time now the good thing about this two functionality we have discussed a lot of technical things which were asked in the group if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much